This is a C-sharp switch statement, and this is a C-sharp switch statement with a case card. At the end of this C-sharp statement tutorial for beginners, you will be able to write C-sharp selection statements like these without a problem. First, we need to create a console application. Write my app in project name. Click next. Click do not use top level statements and click create. Remove the hello world line. Hello, my name is Donkey Sharp. Now, let us write our first C sharp switch statement that is based on a string expression. Console write line, please write one of the following colors red, green, blue, var color input, console read line to lower invariant. If you don't know what console write line and console read line does, go check out my if statement video. Console color, color, string, output, text. This is a console color type. It will contain the color we want to output our text in. This is a string type. It will contain the output text. So the text we want to display to the user in this C sharp console application. Switch color input case red color equals console color dot red. Output text red is a nice color. Break. This is the C-sharp switch statement where we use color input as the expression. If the expression, in this case the color input, matches the C-sharp switch case red, the variable color will be set to color console red and the output text to red is a nice color. Break will make the code exit the C-sharp switch case statement and continue. Let's quickly write some more C-sharp switch cases and a default. Default will run if none of the cases match. Now that the switch is done, we want to write the result to the console application. Console.foregroundColor is the text color in the C Sharp console application. Here we set the text color to the color that has been selected in the switch statement. We do that by console.foregroundColor equals color, console.writeLine, output text, console.readLine to pause. Let's see the result of the four different switch cases. Red, green, blue, enter. Now that you have a good understanding of how a switch statement works, let's have a look at a C sharp switch statement with case guard. Here we have a more advanced example that I've prepared where we are using integer and where we are checking if the string that needs to be passed from the console input can be converted to a positive integer. Let's quickly go through the first part. The question mark is a null check. Question mark means that it will only apply to lower invariant and the following after if read line is not null. Trim remove start and end spaces. Spaces are also called white space. Is null or white space checks if the string is null, empty or only contain white spaces, which are spaces. The exclamation mark inverts the boolean from string is null or white space, so if it's true, it actually turns it into a false, and in reverse. In this specific case, does not contain null, empty, or white spaces. Double AND means AND. In this example, we have four IF conditions, and all have to be true. All char is digit, checks if all characters in the string are digits. And that is because a string consists of a series of chars. In pass converts the string value to integer. There are many ways to ensure that a string can be converted to an integer and also to convert it to an actual integer. I use this method specifically because it uses the all char is digit, so we ensure that we have a positive number, and I will cover try pass etc. in a later video. Now let's have a look at the C sharp switch statement with a case guard. The first thing you'll notice is that the C-sharp switch contains an expression with two variables. And yes, that is possible. Simply use comma as a separator. You can even add more if you want. Case match expression with two variables, use comma as separator as well. So we to the left check the height and to the right the age. Let's go through all the switch cases one by one. The first one, if height and age are both equal zero, it will output tiny and young. The second switch case, if height is larger than zero and age is equal to zero, there is no spoon. Third switch case, if height and age are both larger than zero and height equals age. So let's say we enter 15 and 15, then this would actually trigger because both are 
larger than zero and they are equal each other, then it will output the text, you are as old as you are tall. The when is the actual case card. It adds an extra boolean condition that needs to be fulfilled before this case executes. Fourth switch case, if height is larger than zero and age is larger or equal to 13 and age is smaller or equal to 19, output text you are 18 and height centimeters tall. Here we added the and to actually make sure that we only take a range of age. So instead of us writing 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19, we just say from 13 to 19 equal the values. And this is the correct way of doing it as it increases the readability instead of having a case for each. Always remember to make it as easy to understand as possible as it may not be only you who will ever read this code. Finally, our default, if none of the previous cases match, the default will output the text you are height, centimeters, and age, years old, exclamation mark. And then we write the output text to the console by using console write line and console read line to pause the application. Now try and make an application and try it out yourself to see the different results. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, then please subscribe and hit like. If you did not, then just click dislike. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in the next one.